So I'm going to give you some statistics to begin. The Gallup poll done June 2022 had these results. 38% Americans said that they were extremely proud of their country. 65% Americans said that they were extremely or very proud. That 65% is about four percentage points down from 69% in 2021, but still slightly above the all-time low of 63 in 2020. There's one other thing I'd like to tell you. 25% of U.S. adults that were interviewed have a great deal or quite a lot of confidence in the Supreme Court. The all-time high was 56% in 1985. This is a new low for our confidence in the Supreme Court. Okay, so we have those statistics. We had 4th of July, and I just said, what the heck is going on? So let's just look at the definition of what patriotism is. The standard definition is love of one's country. And Stephen Nathanson defines patriotism as involving, one, special affection for one's own country, and two, a sense of personal identification with the country, three, special concern for the well-being of the country, and four, willingness to sacrifice to promote the country's good. And as I got into this a little bit, I realized that there was this distinction between patriotism and nationalism, okay? So nationalism is defined as the identification with one's own nation and support of its interests, especially to the exclusion or detriment of the interests of other nations. So the question came up right away for me, like, could we just be recognizing that nationalism is not patriotism. Maybe in our heads, they've gotten mixed and we have to watch out. And in this blog that I picked up, it said that the difference between nationalism and patriotism isn't always straightforward, but we can detect when something positive, love of place and people, erodes into a sense of superiority and xenophobia, dislike of, of or prejudice against people from other countries. And this blog also said we must be weary of the negative trappings of nationalism. And so with that, I went, okay, nationalism, patriotism, got it. And it was very interesting. On LinkedIn, there was a picture of a flag and um, an eagle. And I kind of looked at that and said on one of my postings, like, what do you think this means? And as I checked it out, I had this very interesting um, post from a woman, Christina, who lives in Ukraine. And she saw the picture. And so Christina said this, I live in Ukraine but have loved and admired the U.S. for as long as I remember. I think it is a truly outstanding country, despite anything and everything. However, this particular image, for some reason, made me think of military forces. And I thought that was so interesting because that takes on, I think, the notion of, of nationalism and how that could be being perceived by others outside of our own country. 